So in one of our previous videos, we taught you about the accountant's copy and showed you how to create one so that you and your accountant can work in the same company file even from different locations. You can tell that this company file still has an outstanding accountant's copy. You can tell that by this pop-up message that shows up whenever you open the company file. So let's imagine now that the accountants made all of the changes that they want to make and they'd like to send those changes back to us so that we can import them into our company file. That's what we're going to show you how to do today. So to import the accountant's changes back into your file, you first have to receive those changes from your accountant. There's two ways that you can receive those changes back. If you go to File, Accountant's Copy, you can see those two options here. You'll remember from our previous video that there was also two ways you could send an accountant's copy to your accountant. One was through into its secure file transfer site via the web, and the other was to download a file and then send it to your accountant however they preferred, through email, through a flash drive, whatever their preference was. That's the same as these two here. If your accountant asked you to send them the accountant's copy via the secure file transfer site, then you'll want to send the changes back the same way. And you can do that from the web. However, in our example, we downloaded a file and sent it to our accountant. And so our accountant has sent us a file back. We should be looking for a co file called a .qby file. Those are the accountant's changes. So let's go out and find my QBY file. So in this example, my QBY was sitting in my downloads, and you can see that's what it's looking for, accountants change files .qby. And here's my .qby for this example. So let's open that up. And when you open the accountants changes, it's going to show you a list of journal entries that were made. And if you want to understand the details of those, you can click on them and it will show you what they've done and what those journal entries or transactions consist of. And you can decide then whether or not you want to import these changes into your file. So don't feel like you're giving full control to your accountant. There's still a review process that you get to go through before those changes are imported back in your file. However, I've talked with my accountant ahead of time. We already understand what these changes are and I'm comfortable with them. So let's go ahead and incorporate those changes back into my company file. So you can see down in the lower right, incorporate accountants changes. It's going to warn me that it's going to close on my window, so you want to make sure everything you have open is saved so you don't lose anything. Also, really handy, it's requiring you to go through a backup. You'll always want to backup your database whenever you're importing stuff like accountants changes, just in case something goes wrong. So let's do a local backup. We'll just stick it you don't really want to do this in real life, just throw it out on your desktop. You should have a place where you're pe keeping your, your backups, but for sake of time, I'm just going to put it there. Alright, thankfully this is a small file, so it doesn't take long to back up. And as soon as it finishes backing up, it's going to import those accountants changes. done with the backup. Now it's incorporating the changes. And when it's finished, it's going to print a report showing you everything that it's imported. And with 2013, it's also saving us a PDF copy of that report in the same location that our QuickBooks file is located in, just in case you need it as a backup so that you can go in and make changes to those or delete those entries if you decide you don't need them later. And that's really all there is to it. At this point, we've received everything back from our accountant. You'll see that the restrictions are removed, and it's now ready to do another accountant's copy when our next period comes due that we need to send it to our accountant. And that's all there is to working with accountant's copies.